happy Sunday morning, guys. It is Sunday, April 10th. We are three days from my birthday. So this week is going to be an awesome week. I'm going to strive very hard to kick some major weight loss butt this week. Even though I am giving myself one free cheat. I take that back, Lori. Don't be mad at me. One free dinner this week. I am going to use as many of my weeklies as it takes me. We, Other than the restaurant that my husband is a chef at, we have one really nice um, higher end, um, more fine dining restaurant in our area. And we've been dying to go and the, the people that own it, the chef and his wife that run it, um, come into my husband's restaurant a lot. It's not his restaurant, just so you know, but um, the restaurant my husband cooks at, chefs at, and they're always asking him when he's going to bring his beautiful family to the restaurant. It is definitely not a kid-friendly restaurant, so it's not something that we would really do very often, but my husband took it upon himself to call my mom and get a, have her come over and babysit and he made a reservation and he's taking me out for dinner. So the other day I got to go and buy a whole new outfit for dinner. It was so nice because as I um, realized, I basically have workout clothes. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That fit me. Uh, workout clothes, workout clothes, workout clothes. I have one pair of jeans that are now almost too big. So anyways... That's what's up this week, so I am going to allow myself to use as many of my weeklies as it takes for me to have whatever I want for that one meal. Um, I'm hoping for a little bit of a reset because of it. Um, I think allowing it to happen without all the guilt and the stress of it all, I'm hoping it'll kind of jumpstart me a little bit. As you can see behind me, we are starting to empty shelves. Yesterday I spent most of the day taking pictures off the wall, um, construction on our new house is going really, really well. It's finally starting to pick up some speed and move along, so it's coming quick. <laughs> um, so this week, well let's start with last week. Last week I weighed in, as you know, at 185.4. I was up 2.4 pounds last week. Not a great week. I pushed this week. Unfortunately, I did not get, I got all my activity points in, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I did not, I only got outside one day this week to walk um, or to jog because it was so cold. And as you've seen in my videos this week, it's been snowing. The sun is actually shining today. And even though it is freezing out, I just went for a jog before my husband left to go to work, which I don't normally do. I usually give myself Sundays as a rest day from exercising. And I did try to do a couple um, DVDs this week. I wasn't feeling it. I'd get about halfway through and I'd notice something else that I needed to do. And I just stopped. So I definitely didn't get the exercise part in this week. I got all my steps in. I did a lot of work around the house. So I actually got 135 fit points this week. So I'm super stoked, but I definitely did not get the activity in that I wanted. Um, say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Willow. Hi. No, no. No, no. Ah, thank you. Ready? Here you go. So, anyways, yeah, I definitely didn't get the physical activity. Hold on, just one minute. So, that was this week. Um, so, 185.4 last week. I was at one. Sorry, 185.4 last week. This morning, I was at 184.6. So I was down 0.8. I was hoping to recover a little bit more, but I think without the 
outside jogs and the mental clarity that I get from that, I'm happy with the point eight. At least it didn't go up again. So I will take that and I'm really going to push this week. Um, the weather looks like it's going to get better. So as long as it's not 20 degrees out, I'm going to get outside as much as I can this week. Um, so we're on a better upswing this week. So I'm feeling better. Um, we are going today, we have one day a month. <laughs> we have one day a month when our immediate family, which is my grandparents and their three kids, one of which is my mom, and then all of us in our generation and now our kids. As many of us can, we get together, we have a potluck day, everybody brings a dish, we try to have like one central theme um, or something to work around. Um, my mom is making, well she did yesterday, okay buddy, let mama finish, okay? Um, my mom is, or baked a turkey yesterday, so she's going to bring that for sandwiches or whatever. I made a humongous tossed salad. Um, but yeah, we all try to get together once a month, as many of us that can. Um, everybody can't always come every month. We have, I'd say the furthest away that anybody lives is two hours, and that's my brother and his wife and their three kids. So they don't come up as often as we would like them to, but we keep it open. People show up when they can. We sit around and play cards and hang out. Today we might actually be able to get outside and play in the yard and um, just get together as a family. It's always fun. I always try to bring something extremely low point that I can fill my plate with and then eat just a little bit of what everybody else brings. Um, I do think there's going to be cake involved, but I put in my request, usually my grandmother, of course I was the first grandkid, and me and my grandmother are best friends. Um, she makes these absolutely amazing sweet biscuits and they're my favorite and she always makes a double batch we eat and then i take home whatever's left i sadly put in a request this year for a fat-free angel food cake because i just like like a biscuit with berries or fruit um, a lot of times we do peaches and strawberries and blueberries or whatever is a good deal or whatever but I put in a request for a fat-free angel food cake this year, so I'm going to miss the biscuits, but I won't miss the added weight this week. So that's going to be my day today. I'm super excited. It's always fun. Um, our family is really close, so it's always nice to just get together. It's like my favorite day of the month. So my goals this week, I got my water in every single day this week. I got all my fit points. I actually beat. I don't think I will take on a new fit point goal this week. I think 130 is a good number to keep it at for now until the weather changes enough. And then, of course, we're going to hit the wall where it's going to be too hot to get outside. So for now, I think 130 is a good number to keep it at. Um, I did. Hold on just one minute. Sorry about that. I did, however, have a little experiment this week. Oh my goodness. Rambunctious kids who are feeling better. Um, anyways, this week, I, last week, one of my tests had been to try to eat all of my 30 daily points every day, which I did, and we all saw the results of that. This week, I went back to eating throughout the day as I was hungry, breakfast, lunch, snacks, morning snack, afternoon snack, whatever was needed. Um, I still ended up almost every day with seven or eight points left after supper. Um, and after supper, I did not eat. Not one time <laughs> until last night. I did really well all week. Supper was done. I closed up the kitchen and everything was fine. Um, so I left five to seven points almost every night last week, um, which was fine with me. I'm okay with that. 
So that helped. Last night I ate supper. I did bath in bed with the kids. They've been so sick that I let them play in the tub for a while. I came back downstairs to kind of clean up and get everything shut off down here. And I was starving. Physically, not bored. I was physically hungry. My stomach was burning. I felt like I was going to be sick. I had a big glass of water, which I had already finished all my water for the day. Um, so I didn't want to go crazy with water, but I did drink maybe another extra 10 or 15 ounces of water, um, hoping that it would quench it. But then I thought, if I don't have something to eat now, I'm either going to wake up in the middle of the night and feel sick, or I'm going to wake up so hungry that I'm going to just eat whatever's in front of me. So I did have a Quest Bar, one of the cookies and cream one, at about 8.30 last night. Um, which was only four points, which is fine. And I still had plenty of points for it, but I did eat that. And I was satiated and I was fine. And back right now. And... So I did eat a little snack last night, so I don't know, between that and the extra water I had may have uh, added some weight on this morning, but that's life. And I definitely am not one who starves myself the day before weigh-in. Um, I try to make sure I get on my water and a little less sodium, but it is what it is. Hi. So that's it for this week. Um, I'm at a good spot. I am working my way down. I'm hoping that the birthday dinner doesn't set me back too far, but I only get one a year and I'm going to enjoy it, especially because I haven't had a date with my husband since since we went away a couple of months ago. So I'm going to enjoy. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you for some videos this week. Say bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye, guys.